and welcome or welcome back if you're someone who has watched my videos before. Today I'm really going to talk about new bag releases and I'm going to do both like luxury and also a little bit of Scandinavian style bags um, or like Scandinavian brands really and um, yeah I just wanted to talk about these new bag releases that I've seen. Some of them I like, some of them I don't like that much and we're going to talk uh, through them and uh, yeah let me know what you feel about these bags and if you're loving any of them or if you are hating any of them. Um, yeah let me know. We're going to start with Celine. So Celine has updated the other bag and they have made it so that it has this really big triumphal logo on the front of the bag. So the other bag is a shoulder bag, shoulder bag carry only. And now they, and so before they had like a Celine stamp just on the front of the bag, quite subtle, but now it has this huge vintage looking um, uh, logo on it. And at first I didn't really like this bag, but I kind of looked at it again and I think I think it works. I think it has a very vintage look to it. So if you like, is someone who loves that kind of vintage vibe of bags, I think this is really something that you can style quite easily. So yeah, I um, I think it's alright. And then they also have, um, and by the way, it costs around like 2000 euros, uh, which is a little bit more than the other bag does cost, I, I think. So yeah. So just so you know, and they also released something called the Abbey bag, and this bag is horrible. Like I have not seen, I think this bag on my list is probably the ugliest bag, to be honest. Um, it really reminds me of the Chloe Paddington bag, which is uh, kind of, I think kind of before my time, actually kind of before I got into luxury, I think. Um, but I've seen this bag afterwards, uh, unfortunately. And <laughs> this bag, the new Celine Abbey bag really reminds me of that Chloe Paddington bag and uh, it's also really, really expensive. I think it's around 5,000 euros, which is just insane for this kind of bag. And I do wonder how well they're going to sell. Either it's that kind of specific style that's going to sell really, really well, or it's just that specific style that is too horrible that it's not going to sell at all. So we'll, we'll, we will see how this bag does, um, does sell. And moving on to a different brand, I want to talk about Loewe uh, again. <laughs> and they have done uh, a few bag releases. They have done a squeeze bag, which comes in small and in medium. And at first I didn't really like the look of this bag. Um, because I saw it as only a shoulder bag, but it actually is able to, you're actually able to wear it crossbody. And I think crossbody, it looks so much nicer, both like the small and the medium, I think it looks really nice crossbody. And it has this like thick shoulder, like leather bit on the shoulder, which I guess is for, to make it, I guess it's there to make it more comfortable to wear. And I do wonder if it's gonna make it more comfortable to wear or if it's gonna make it less comfortable to wear. But I, yeah, I, I quite like that bit. I like that detailing of the bag. Um, I think it's a, yeah, I think it's a fun bag to, that they've done. And also they've done the puzzle tote bag. So you, you all are aware of the like classic puzzle Loewe bag. Um, and they are updating it. Well, they're gonna update it. I have a whole, whole video on <laughs> them updating the bag to the Edge version. But they've also done now a puzzle tote bag, which comes in a few different si sizes as well. And the nice thing about this bag is it can fold completely flat, which I think if you're someone um, who likes to carry your bags, let's say like you like to travel with your bags and you want something that can fold flat, that's easy to just pack down. I think that's great. And also if you're someone who wears, because I quite like to wear one of those like cotton tote bags. Uh, you know, I am <laughs> Scandinavian after all. And if, if you've ever been to any like Nordic country, you will know for a fact that people, like half of the people you see are wearing like cotton tote bags. Half of the people you see will be wearing these bags. So it's hugely common. But if you want to update that star, uh, but you still want something that is so easily packed, uh, for example, in like another bag, 
um, when you go out in the city, I think this is a good option to go for. So yeah, I, I, I think more, the more that I talk about it, the more I think about it, I actually quite like this bag more and more <laughs> for that purpose. And they've also released, which are so cute, it's an update, like it's another version of the Goya Potter bag. And this one is in cream shirling. I saw this on Metaporta and it has this really like donut shaped golden strap, the like golden shoulder strap. And it's, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. I have the Goya Puffer and it does not fit a lot. And I'm sure like this bag looks like it doesn't fit a lot either. Uh, and good heads up if you think about buying this bag is that it's a tiny, tiny bag, but it's so cute. It's so, so cute. Um, anyways, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to a different brand. We're gonna talk about Fendi. And before I talk about new releases from Fendi, I just want to talk about um, new updated versions <laughs> because I saw a few and I cannot not talk about them. So I saw the baguette bag in a python, like in a gray python. And I was so surprised by the price point of this bag because it cost 3,800 euros. And for a completely exotic bag, I think that's great. I actually think that's really great. And it's such an iconic classic, classic style from the house as well. So if you are really, like I like exotics, if you also like exotics and you want something that is more easily accessible and you don't want to go uh, go second hand because you can find a great deal second hand by the way if you are someone who likes exotics um but if you don't you if you want to purchase something new i think this is a really nice price point for it and they also have done uh, the baguette bag in a maxi style with stitching and this is so so chic i really like this bag it's only a shoulder bag but i think to carry it as a shoulder bag or carry it as a huge clutch it's so nice it's so so nice um and also <laughs> before before moving on to new releases i just want to talk about these bags they've also done the fendigraphy so the fendigraphy used to have um a metal logo on the um lower part of the bag um which i personally didn't love because I think it's too much metal going on, but they've done it now with stitching. So they've done the logo, but with stitching, and I think it looks really, really nice. So if you want something that has a bit more minimal um, uh, metals on it, but you, and you really like this bag, um, that's a nice bag to go for. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna move on to new releases from <laughs> Fendi. And these are the Origamo, origami bag it comes in medium and in small and it's a tote bag as a, like a north south kind of style tote bag it comes in leather and in the small version it also comes in canvas and i think it's a nice bag i don't have like too much love of it i i'm not going to talk about it too much because i think it's just an okay bag if you like this bag great for you i personally think it's just all right nothing too excited about i like the fact that you can fold it in and fold it out i like that um, but yeah, otherwise I'm not like too, hugely excited about it. And then we also have the common bag and this one, I was really surprised. It comes in four, four sizes in nano and mini in small and in medium. And they have just released this bag. I think it's really surprising that they have released so many different sizes. And as I understand it, the nano, um, well, the nano is the smallest and it starts at 990 euros, if I remember correctly. Comes in uh, canvas and in leather, and I think if you are looking for a luxury shoulder bag and you like something, it has this. Also, I think it's quite a vintage look. It, it kind of reminds me of the Dior Bobby. Uh, if you remember that bag, like a few years ago, that was something that was very gifted to influencers. Um, it kind of reminds me of that bag and if you are someone who likes that kind of style i think this is a nice bag to go for uh, i'm not like hugely excited about it i think it's an all right bag um i know that sophie show had has bought this bag um and yeah in like a dub gray color and i think it looks nice like i don't love it i don't hate it i just think it looks nice so we are going to move on and uh, we're going to talk about Saint Laurent. We're going to, I'm going to talk about one uh, 
quite kind of new bag release from them. It's the Gabby bag and I've seen this for a few months and it comes in um, black and white and now they have released it in an army green and for a shoulder bag like a crossbody shoulder bag from a luxury house I think it's a really reasonable price point so it costs 990 euros it does have a it has quilting it has like the YSL logo and if you're someone who likes a logo I think that's a really nice like that's a really nice price point for a, a good logo and um, a good it seems like a good bag so yeah just want to mention that and then we're gonna move on and I think we're gonna I'm gonna skip Bottega um, just mention quickly that they have done like a spaghetti jody I think they've done that before but now they've released it again and they've also like shopped off the Andiamo bag to East West style that's all I wanted to mention and then we also have Farigamo Fari and they have also shopped off the Wonder bag lovely bag by the way i really like the wonder bag i've tried it on and i think it looks so like i, I actually really like it it looks like a, a like a toy bag it looks like a like a really cheap sorrow bag or something which i quite like like i quite like that plastic look of it um so yeah i i like that bag even though it does look very cheap and if you don't like that style um keep that in mind <laughs> so yeah but they also have another bag, which I thought was a really good price point. It's called the mini bag with cut out detailing. And it costs 1,100 euros. And I think for a luxury bag, again, a shoulder crossbody, like a crossbody bag, I think that's a really nice price point. Um, so yeah, I just want to mention that. And we're gonna move on to the Scandinavian brands. And I've picked up three here. I could talk about uh, a lot more probably, but they don't do like new releases of bags every day because they do need to sell their bags and it's not that many that are buying these bags i guess um but totem has quite recently launched bags overall and now they released something called the t-flap which is a flap shoulder bag and um, they can also wear crossbody and this one in euros costs 990 euros and um i've said this before i don't did like a totem haul that if you are in Sweden and you like Totem, you should definitely try to buy it um, because it's going to be a lot cheaper for you. Uh, at the moment, Totem, I think, has a cheaper price point overall in Sweden. And also, um, the Swedish krona is so weak in comparison to <laughs> so many other currencies that it's like getting a discount on uh, anything you buy. So. Yeah, I think that's a great bag to go for if you're looking for it. I don't love that bag, like in particular, I much prefer other to 10 bags, but I think if you are someone who likes a bag, buy it in Sweden. Uh, you like either, like if you're in Europe, you, you can probably, and you shop a lot um, when you're here, you can probably save, like, it won't cost you more <laughs> and you will get a trip to Sweden. Um, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I'm not gonna, Go, go into either too much but uh, yeah it's it's a good one to go for and we also have ATP uh, ATP sorry ATP Atelier and we, they have done uh, a bag a shoulder crossbody bag called the Bulgari and this one costs I think around 600 euros um, and they have this classic very kind of iconic pistol shape on the bag and I'm so tired of seeing that pistol shape moment i'm really sorry uh atp atelier i think you do nice bags and a few years ago i quite wanted one of these bags but at the moment they've become so hugely popular and i've seen this pistol shape so much that i'm just going completely tired of it but if you don't live in sweden you won't have so i think it's still quite a nice bag to go for and if you like that star and you are not like me who has just seen this bag too much then perfect and we also have gani who have released something called the boo bag boo bag boo bag bow 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 bag um i will insert the name of it exactly i don't know how to say it but i think it costs around 300 euros and for uh, a leather bag uh you know it's one of those quite nice brands quite trendy hot brands i think that's a really nice price point and you can have it 
top handle and I do think it comes with a crossbody strap as well and it's one of those a bit more quirky style of bags but quite still so I quite like this bag I think it's like um something you can wear for quite a few years and it's not like way too trendy or anything like that I I quite like this bag to be honest and I think for the price point that it is it's very accessible for a lot of us so yeah I quite like it so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed this list I I um I uh, yeah I hope you got something out of it I hope you saw some new bags that you might like that you want might want to buy I'll try to link all of them uh, below I don't make any money of it because I'm like a really small youtuber like not even like a youtuber I, I can't call myself like a youtuber but I make YouTube, YouTube videos and um it's not like I make any money of it so um but I'm gonna link in link them so just to make it easier for you to shop them if you want to um and uh yeah i um have i said my name my name is amanda and i make videos every first day and sunday and if you would like to watch more then you're very welcome to do so um and otherwise i will see you in the next one right bye